Hey, how's it going? Justin Garcia here, creator of the Advanced Forms add-on for Concrete 5. And today we're going to look at creating custom styles for forms that you've created um, using the Advanced Forms add-on. As you can see on this page here, I've got a um, just an advanced form that I've created. It's pretty basic, just kind of a contact form here. Um, and what we're going to do is create a custom style for this. So I've got my dashboard open in another tab here. So I'm going to flip to that, go to the Advanced Forms page. This is the form that we're working with, the contact form. But in order to set, set up the style, what we're going to do is go to the Styles page and create a new style. We'll just call this Custom Style. I'm going to leave this checkbox checked that says Use Default Form Style as Template. What that does is, even though this form looks pretty basic, there's still already some styles that are applied to it. Um, so by leaving this checkbox checked, what that's going to do is um, keep those styles, move them into this new template or this new style that I'm creating rather than uh, having me having to set everything up from scratch and recreate a lot of styles that are already in place just with regard to um, the certain aspects of the layout. So I'm going to go ahead and create that and you can see essentially what that gives me is a whole bunch of text areas which essentially are just places where I can fill in the CSS for the different elements of the form and you can see these are the the default styles that are already in place on there uh, for the different elements so what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and flip back to this form and edit the page and we will edit the block and go ahead and set the custom style that we now have in our style drop down box I'm going to update that we shouldn't see any change since I haven't changed anything in the style itself but now once I start making changes to the style, we can come back here, refresh, and we should see them applied. So let's start with our labels. Um, and you can see a couple of things to point out here. One, uh, we've got a description of each element in the class name. So I can look at this, say, label, SEM, label, what does that mean? Okay, that's the form labels, except for checkboxes and radio buttons, which are done in a separate element. Um, so this will affect all the labels. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll just maybe increase the font size a little bit. Uh, one other neat thing is you can see it as an asterisk, asterisk whenever you've changed um, anything in the CSS for that element. Uh, that way if you're working, you know, scrolling back and forth, you can say, oh, I haven't, I haven't saved this one yet. And you can come here and save. And it does that without refreshing the page. Also, if you do want to save them all at once, you've got to Save all button at the bottom. Um, so let's come back up here. Okay, so we've got that saved. So I'm going to flip back to this tab, refresh. And hopefully our font sizes, you can see they increase just a little bit. Um, so I think there were maybe 12 pixels before. So now we're up to 14. So let's do this now. Let's go to our um, text input boxes here. And let's give these a different color border. Let's say border. Uh, solid. That's going to give me a kind of gray border and maybe a little bit of padding on the inside, maybe three pixels. Okay, so I'm going to refresh now. You see, it got a little bit of a different look, a little cleaner. Um, and then also, maybe let's just increase the width on these a little bit. Maybe 250, that may be kind of big, but we'll go with it. There we go. So a little larger. Um, got the ground here. As you can see, it didn't apply to our comments box uh, or our state drop-down box because those are not um, standard text input elements. So let's work with our comments box a little bit. One, because this is pretty ugly. This courier font that browsers like to use is default for text areas. So let's find our text area. That was easy. Um, let's make some changes to that. Let's set this the width on this to 300 pixels, maybe a height of 200. Let's give it the same kind of border that we had on the text input elements. And also give it some padding. And then let's do the font since we have that ugly font. And let's set that to, I'm sorry, font family. Let's do Arial. Uh, 
uh, that pixel should be good. So save that. Come back and reload the page. Yeah, it looks a little better. It's kind of tall. Maybe we shrink that down a little bit just so we can make it look a little better. Yeah, looks pretty good. And lastly, let's do our border on this select element. I think that'll help out a little bit if we just give it a same type of border. Maybe a little bit of padding, I think should help. Just make it look kind of uniform here. So there we go. Um, I'll tell you what, just to make it pretty, let's do this. A little bit cool. So, um, as you can see, you know, this is just the beginning of what you can do. Obviously, you've got all of these elements that are fully customizable, any kind of CSS you want to put in here. And then, additionally, you can even add your own custom CSS. So, any you can specify on your when you're managing your fields, you can specify what types of um, classes are applied to those, and then you can add your custom CSS for those there. So, lots of options of things that you can do. Um, with your styles in the advanced forms add-on for Concrete 5.